puppies. Hey. Oh yeah, sleepy eyes. You guys ready for a fun day? Of course. Oh goodness, y'all are excited. Did you guys sleep well last night? Oh my goodness. Ready to go outside? Come on. Come on, puppies. Let's go outside. You puppies ready to eat? Yeah? You want some food, pups? So I usually give them each about a cup of food. Piper. <laughs> Piper, you can't eat it out of there. Goodness. So I give them each about a cup of food in the morning and for dinner. That usually does them just fine. Go on, Ruru. Eat up. So they eat Purina Pro Plan. That's what they've been eating. It's usually pretty good on the stomach. Honey, we'll give you a little bit more since Piper ate some out of your bowl. There you go, buddy. It's gotta be even with them too. <laughs> oh, goodness. So they normally just eat for a little bit while I fix myself some breakfast over here, which today, let's see, what will I have? Mm. Eggs. So yeah, this will be a day in the life of Piper and Rooney, my two uh, Brittany puppies. So hope you all enjoy it. <laughs> You guys fighting? What are you guys playing for? What are you guys? What are you guys fighting for, huh? <laughs> they gotta get their morning uh, fight in. Well, it's just playing for them, but they love it. They love it. <laughs> Isn't that right, Ruru? -Ru? You guys love playing around, huh? So I'm making a little uh, breakfast here, making a uh, breakfast burrito with some uh, bacon and sausage. The puppies happen to love a little bit of sausage. Rooney, Piper, come here. You want a treat? Sit. Good boy, Roo. All right, Piper. Let's get you one here. Sit. Good girl. Oh, yeah. See, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. I always try to give them a little bit. I don't feel, feel them very much table food because it's probably not great for them, but a little piece never hurt them. Of course, we got to have our morning cuddle sesh. Rooney normally is laying over here too, but he decided to take the window seat, his perch. He likes to look out there and watch and see if any mean people are coming to break in, which never happens. He, he just sees people out walking their dogs and goes crazy. Look Pippi here, she's, she's tired, girl. For. Are you excited, girl? Are you excited? <laughs> Piper, you got you got the spins, girl. You got the spins. <laughs> oh, you puppies are so funny. Rooney, you want in the drawer? See, that's where we keep the balls at. He loves playing with those. 
Rooney, is that what you're wanting? You wanting the balls? All right. <laughs> oh gosh, puppies. You guys have absolutely tore up this room down here. Oh goodness, it's like an everyday thing. I have to adjust their stuff here. You guys are so silly. <laughs> After they play, they gotta get a drink. Come on, let's get a drink. Come get a drink, Ruru. Go on, get a drink. There you go. No, not today. Rooney, I know you're thirsty and tired. <laughs> After a big play sesh, they get a little thirsty. Now Rooney's ready to go back for more. Puppies love the garage also, don't you guys? So I come out here sometimes and I'll do some building, but of course, Piper and Rooney have to be occupied too. If you can see a theme here, they really like playing with the balls, that's for sure. That's Rooney's favorite thing. And Piper, she just runs around and kind of chews on them, but <laughs> she has fun either way. So, <laughs> while I paint in here, of course it's winter time, so I turn on the heat. Oh, goodness. I gotta plug it in. Turn on the heat here for them. And then it gets nice and warm in here while the puppies are playing. Even got their little bed there. They like being out here in the garage, don't you, Ruru? And what's nice is, I don't necessarily do this as much in the summertime, but in the wintertime, or I don't necessarily do this as much in the wintertime, but in the summer, they've got their doggy door. And so, <laughs> they love using that, running in and out of here. But sometimes in the winter, I'll just keep this open. This part, this door. Just to let them in and out there. But I try not to keep it open too much because I don't want to let the cold in. And these puppies, they get cold out there anyway. So I think uh, Piper and Rooney, like most uh, my most Britneys, well, most dogs in general, love their routines. And so luckily enough for them where I work from home, they get to establish quite a routine, which is hanging out here down the basement but it's really funny with them. So they wake up almost the exact same time every morning at 6.30. They want to eat right away, of course. But they love to take a nap right afterwards, relax for a little while. And then for a lot of the day, we hang out down here and just hang out in the basement and uh, while I do work. And so they'll play around here like Piper's doing, she's just laying there chewing bones. Rooney, he's looking outside. He likes to look for animals and stuff out there. But a lot of the day, they just like to sit here and hang out. But it's really funny. So they eat dinner um, at four o'clock every day. Rooney, he absolutely knows exactly what time it is to go and eat. So they will, uh, <laughs> they'll, he'll, when we're upstairs, he'll go over to the bowl almost exactly on four o'clock maybe 15 minutes before or after, but he knows. He's got a really good internal clock. And so a lot of our day is mostly the same exact routine. Um, naps, you know, going up, laying in the bed, when I go get a shower, um, eating, you know, any of that stuff, even going out and playing. They know when it is, what time, and what all they should be doing during a day. And it really, it really helps them out a lot because before when there wasn't as much of a routine, they were just kind of all over the place. They would get into stuff and just overall misbehave a lot just because, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to say, you know, because they didn't have their energy out because we had plenty of energy. 
we they uh, got plenty of their energy out. We would take them for walks and everything and run around. But I just think it uh, it just helps to um, I don't know reassure them. I guess calm them, relax them. But it's funny. The reason I say that is because whenever we get out of the routine for a while, um, they start to get into stuff. They'll tear up stuff. They'll be mean to each other. They'll be mean to us. Not really mean to us, but just kind of bothering us, like, you know, jumping and all this stuff and pawing at us. So they definitely love their routine and like to stick with it. And I think it's good for them. I think it helps them out a lot. And he's under my desk here. He likes to lay down right at my feet a lot of times because, I don't know, it just comforts him or maybe my feet are warm on him. <laughs> I have no clue. But he likes to lay down there, and I certainly don't mind it. Rooney's up there on his perch. He sits up there on his perch all day and watches out. <laughs> Originally, his crate was over... Uh, over here, but he would look, try to get up in the window and look out just so you can see things that are going on. So we moved it over here and he absolutely loves it. So he'll sleep up here a lot of the day, but he loves looking out and seeing other dogs running around or people walking. Don't you, Ruru? -Roo? Yeah, you like it, buddy. Piper, this is her couch. <laughs> just, she's knocked all the cushions off because she likes to lay out, but she majority will stay, stay there and then Ru will be up here. But they rarely ever, Rue hardly ever sleeps on the couch, and Piper hardly ever sleeps up here on the, uh, on Rue's perch, as we call it. But he, you sit so funny. <laughs> he likes his perch, though, don't you, buddy? What do you think, buddy? You want to go outside? You want to go outside, Rue Rue? Huh? <laughs> The way you turn your head trying to understand. Pepper, you want to go outside? What do you think, Roo? All right, fine. Let's go outside. Come on. Come on, Roo. Drop it. Run Roo. Go get it. Come here, Piper. Oh, yes. Come here. You sweet girl. You sweet girl. Oh, yes, you are. Rooney, where's your ball? Go get your ball, buddy. Always on the lookout, aren't you, pups? You guys are always watching out. <laughs> All right, puppies, come on, let's go get in your crate. Come on, let's go get in your crate. I know, you don't want to go. You guys, <laughs> you guys, these puppies are quite lucky because go into your crate because they probably spend per day about 20 to 30 minutes in their crate, puppy. Come on. <laughs> and that's just because I go and work out every day at some point, or try to. <laughs> it's okay, puppies. I'm sorry. I'll be right back, okay? Love you guys. You guys need a bone? Okay, I'll go get you a bone real quick. But yeah, they, uh, they don't spend very much time at all. I'm trying to find their bone here. Here's one. They don't spend very much time at all in their crate because I am here all day, so. <laughs> they always think it's the end of the world when they have to go in there, but little do they know, most dogs, they have to uh, stay in their crate or 
something like that for half of the day sometimes. Here we go. They like these two. And <laughs> they think it's the end of the world just for like 20 or 30 minutes, but they're okay in there. They just chew on bones or go to sleep. Sometimes Piper will chew up the bed, which is why we don't have the the bed in there right now. Here you go, puppies. Put your bone down in here. Whoop. That took my hand off. So Brittany's like this guy right here, Mr. Rooney. Yes, Brittany's like you. Need lots of exercise. So every day, hey buddy, I try to uh, take them out and play with them or take them for a W-A-L-K. I have to spell it out because they know the word. And so they they uh, spend a lot of time running, especially down in the basement. They uh, play with each other all the time and wrestle and chew and all sorts of fun stuff. But they definitely need a lot of exercise. So if you're pretty uh, sedentary <laughs> in your life or, you, you know, you don't have much time to run around with the dogs, then... Uh, Brittany's definitely are not the one for you but we also we got two of them to kind of help with that because they play together and they run around together when when I'm feeling lazy or whatever but at least once or twice a day I try to get out and exercise with them uh, so that keeps them uh, I guess from going crazy and running all over the place and getting all their energy out so maybe here in just a little bit I will take these two for a walk they heard me. <laughs> Piper, do you want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk, Piper? Oh, yes. You guys are excited. You guys want to go for a walk? What about you? What about you, Rooney? You want to go for a walk? Come on. Let's do it. Let's go for a walk. Here we go. All right. It's a beautiful day to walk the pups. It's a little cold out here, but... They don't mind it. They like playing in the snow anyways. I've got this awesome, uh, I guess, leash for them. So it's a double leash, but it has a pivot right here. And so they can't, it keeps them from getting tangled up, but I can walk them both at the same time. If you walk them by yourself, this is invaluable because I can keep one hand free pretty much all the time. And it holds them perfectly. They like it too because, well, it's actually easier for me because sometimes they like to pull. And so a lot of times they'll pull against each other and kind of take some of that <laughs> brunt away from me holding them. But occasionally we like to go and run too. <laughs> they like to run while we're out here. I can't do it too much because they are much faster than me. Come on, puppy. All right, you pups have been very good today. So, <laughs> so when they uh, when they have a good day, well behaved, I like to give them a treat. And so their favorite thing is some good old Kong peanut butter. Oh, they absolutely love it. And then we put it in these Kong toys, so that way it's hard for them to get it out. So let me get it all set up in here. It's pretty easy. You just it's like a spray cheese or whatever it is. Oh, got that all over me. All right, puppies. There you go. So that is their absolute favorite. Put this back up. This drawer in general has all the good stuff in it, at least when I'm down here at work. <laughs> is that good, puppies? It's kind of hard to get out <laughs> through that small hole. Piper's got a really long tongue, so she does it pretty well, but <laughs> Rooney struggles. All right, pups just ate their dinner. <laughs> Rooney, like always, knew exactly when his dinner time was. Move this over here. Yeah, I know, buddy. It's good stuff. There's all kinds of drips here because while I was videoing that segment where I <laughs> dropped their food in, Piper decided 
that she would just drool all over the place. Yeah, that's right, Piper. That's how she gets when she knows she's about to eat. She just drools everywhere. So it's all over the floor. Goodness, silly girl. All right, now that my work day's over, we can go back upstairs. Come on, puppies. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> yeah, y'all can just be at the lookout position for the rest of the evening, looking out the window. Yep, I know you're excited, Piper. So I'm over here cooking dinner now. And the pups, <laughs> they're just lounging around, aren't you guys? A lot of times Rooney will sleep over here on this mat right in the way. So when I go to do the dishes, <laughs> I accidentally step on them every time. They've just been sleeping. Yeah, that's right, pups. Go back to sleep. You're fine. <laughs> I just woke him up. Sorry, guys. Yep, he's assumed his spot when I'm cooking down here waiting for scraps. But I did make a pretty good looking meal, I must say. Some uh, shrimp alfredo. So he's just waiting here for some scraps, I guess. <laughs> Not any of that stuff. You're not allowed to have that stuff, Rooney. But I do appreciate you keeping me company, bud. You want to take a selfie with me? Say cheese for the camera. Oh, not legs. Oh, I got both the puppies on me now. Oh, they're wanting some legs. <laughs> so to finish off the night, the puppies love. Yes, that's you. Your puppy. <laughs> love to lay on the bed while we watch TV. Actually, a lot of time, they'll lay underneath the bed or under the covers, but they are hot right now, so they're laying here. But usually by after dinner, they are pretty tired and just want to relax for the rest of the night, so don't blame them there. I kind of feel the same. All right, everyone, thanks for watching the video, the uh, day in the life of Piper and Rooney. We're just relaxing here for the rest of the evening. Uh, Allie's going to sleep. <laughs> so we're stuck out of here on the couch for the next couple hours. But yeah, they're just going to be relaxing. And so, yeah, today was just kind of a normal day. Um, nothing special. Nothing like the uh, crazy adventures that we have in uh, most of the other videos. But, um, you know, those we don't do st crazy stuff every day. So this is kind of what... I guess the regular one looks like so yeah thank you all for watching and if you want to see more of these videos see more of piper and rooney make sure you uh leave a like and you subscribe stick around for more thank y'all come on come on puppies all right time for bed go get in your crate you guys had a fun day today. Watch out, Whippy. Alright. Good night, guys. Sweet dreams. Love you all.